So here we go, the second heat, the 52nd edition of the Little Brown Jug. Track announcer, Roger Houston. Pacing going right out to the lead, Western Dreamer up on the outside, the Wiz as they race into the turn, down along the rail, Giante Green gets away third, up on the outside, Dream Away, racing fourth is Offstride. Down the backside they go, on top of the field, Western Dreamer and Mike Lashatz. Right back out to retake. Opening quarter, 27 seconds. Into the turn, the Wiz second. Down along the rail, Gothic Dream racing third. Fourth at the rail as they race around the turn. Going to the 3 8 mark, it's Artura. Out and moving on the outside. Here comes Gothic Dream and Ron Pierce. Artura second over with cover. Moving on the outside. Tony Morgan and Jeremy's gamut. They're halfway home. 55 and 3. On to the back side. Park place up the inside. His Majesty down along the rail. Racing seventh. Training the field. It's Dream Away. On to the back side in the 5 8 mark. Western Dreamer with the lead by a half. Moving up on the outside. Now second. Gothic Dream. Three wide down the back side. Arturo racing on the inside, the Wiz. Three quarters, 123 and three. Around the final turn, the Western Dream of the leader. Arturo on the outside, the Wiz. Down along the rail, it's his race to win or lose. Western Dreamer, Mike Lushant, open up. The Little Brown Jug, the battle's on for second and third. World record, 151 and one. Mike Lachance wins his fourth Little Brown Jug that puts him in some awesome company. Stanley Dancer won four and Billy Houghton won five. The connections are ecstatic. That's Matthew Patrick and Daniel Daly from Hamilton, Ontario. They've got a shot at the Triple Crown. No one has done it since 1983. Million dollar races, the most in history. The winning trainer, Western Dreamer, completing the second jewel of the pacing triple crown. And this horse continues to excel with his 11th win of the year. Let's go to Gary Seibel. All right, standing here in the winner's circle with a jubilant driver, Mike Lachance. Mike, not to bring up a, a sore subject from last year. Last year, you had the opportunity to drive either Firm Belief or Armbro Operative. You went with Firm Belief, Armbro Operative won the jug. Some sweet revenge this year? Well, uh... I didn't like it last year, but uh, I'm one of those guys that uh, when the, the, the day's over, I just turned the page and I was uh, al already looking forward for this year, last year. We're going to take a look at the last half a mile here when Western Dreamer was in full command and the fact that uh, John made a break with Dream Away, uh, I don't know if you knew that or not, but that certainly helped you out. Well, I didn't know that, but my horse was, uh, he was so relaxed when I got to, back to the front. Uh, I just never see him like that. Uh, yeah, like uh, when I raced him at 3 0 two heats, there he was, he was hot for the last heat, and uh, he wasn't relaxed at all like today. Today he was just nice and relaxed, and uh, you know he was at his best. Now you have the North America Cup winner, Gothic Dream, on your flank on the outside. You're on the inside with the Western Dreamer. What are you thinking at this point? You know, Gothic Dream's a good colt. Yes, but I tell you the truth, I felt real good in the back stretch because I had a ton of horse and. Uh, I didn't even ask ask him for anything yet, and uh, and I know when you tap him with the whip there, he, he responds, and uh, I give him a couple of tap, and he just went on. Well, as you can see, you're turning for home now in the second heat of the little brown jug. At this point, you're thinking there won't be a race off? No. no <laughs> I knew it was going to win now. So you knew that this was it. You're opening up by daylight now. Mike, this was your fourth little brown jug win. How does it feel? Well, it feels just as good as the first one there. The Little Brown Jug, it's just a special race there. Every, every time you win it there, it's always like you, you're in heaven. And your thoughts on uh, winning the Triple Crown? Well, uh, I don't know. About that. I don't know. I, do, I have no opinion about that uh, right now. Okay, right now we're going to head back to Bruce Beck in the winner's circle. Western Dreamer wins the 1997 Little Brown Jug, the second jewel of Pacing's Triple Crown. And Gary Seibel is standing by in the winner's circle once again. 
here with trainer Bill Robinson, one of the most dominant trainers in the sport of harness racing over the last decade. Bill, you said this horse had a lot of speed, tremendous speed out of the gate. That was proven out today. How do you feel about this jug win this afternoon? Well, it's probably one of the greatest ones I've ever raced uh, or ever win. I, you, we really wanted this one bad, like everybody else, but uh, it's a break game. Uh, Campbell made a break. We don't know what would happen to him. But around the last turn, uh, Mike's been kind of careful with him the last couple of weeks because he was waiting for this day. And uh, around the last turn, he stopped waiting and he opened up five or six lengths. And uh, I was very, very happy about it. Uh, he's a real nice colt. And Mike Lachance has made this horse. Were you worried at any point in the mile? Oh, I've been always worried. You're always worried when they go. Uh, I'm a money man. I like to win the money <laughs> because my owners put it right back in, and and, uh, and it's uh, it's just a great feeling to win the jug and to open up like that around the last turn. And uh, it's probably one of the best races. I'll never forget this one. You made a comment at late last year that you thought this horse was an ordinary horse. He's not ordinary, is he? Well, uh, I still thought he was ordinary going into this into this uh, race here. But uh, you know, he's a gelding, and he's we can't do anything with him but race him. So. Uh, I can't say he's a superstar, but he, he really went a terrific mile today. I just want to point out the rest of the group here. We have the dailies. How many dailies do we have? All three, Matthew, Patrick, and Dan. Congratulations. You guys had stout last year. You said you had so much fun with that horse. You wanted another one. Bill got you one. You waited a while. He wanted you to be patient, and uh, you came up with Western Dream. You guys have to feel really great about that. Oh, for sure. No, Bill, my father, just to, before he passed away, he said, if you guys want to be in these big races and win one, you got to have Bill Robinson. So he took us and introduced us to Bill, and there was, we've had some great, great experiences in this game. All right, congratulations to you guys, and good luck for that Triple Crown bid. I'm not jinxing you, but good Thank luck, guys. All right, right now we're going to go back to Bruce Beck.